Hey, what's going on? Ecom Dominator, Cynthia here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create your own e-commerce store on Wix.com. If you aren't familiar with Wix, it's an online website builder that allows you to choose from over 80 fully customizable online store templates and you can customize the design using Wix editor. You can also choose from over 500 fully customizable Wix templates and add the Wix stores app to have the ability to sell online. And building a website is crucial for any businesses looking to sell their products or services, but it deters most people from building their own e-commerce website because most don't even have any kind of technical experience and they don't even know where to begin. But with the Wix editor, they make this process doable for anyone with zero coding experience. And if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to e-commerce. And I just want to say a big thank you to Wix for sponsoring today's video and also supporting this channel. So right now I'm going to be hopping over to the Mac to get started and you can go ahead and click the link in the description to go on over to Wix to register if you want to follow along in today's tutorial. First thing you want to do is register for an account on Wix. So simply go to wix.com slash ecom dominators and then click get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and enter in your email, type in your password and then click sign up. So then now they're going to give you two options. So number one, you can let Wix ADI create a website for you, or you can actually create your own using the Wix editor. So from my experience, the Wix editor is pretty straightforward. So you can go ahead and select a template. Now Wix will allow you to select from a few different fully customizable website templates. So you can actually select the template that fits the aesthetic of your niche or the type of products that you are trying to sell. So this is the one that I kind of love the layout for. So this is the one we're going to go with for this tutorial. So once you select the one that you want to go with, you just go ahead and click edit. So now once you have selected your template, you'll be able to see all the options to be able to edit your entire website. So we're going to be coming back to edit all of this, but the first thing we need to edit is actually our logo up here, which still says happy kids. Now you can actually upload a current logo if you already have one created, but if you're hundred percent brand new and you don't even have a logo and to make your first logo, simply go back to your dashboard and then come under marketing and SEO and go ahead and click on it. Then you want to scroll all the way down to you see logo maker. And then you want to click new logo. And then you want to go ahead and enter in the name of your logo. So in this case, I'm just going to type in, elephant lovers place. So then now Wix will generate you a few different logos that you can actually pick from. So pick the one that fits the aesthetic of your store. So I see one right over here. I feel like I like this one. It's very chic, it's modern. So I'm going to go ahead and select customize. And once you get to the next step, Wix will allow you to select different color palettes to match the color scheme of your store. Um, so I actually found one over here that looks kind of like this one, the bold charcoal. I love the look and feel of this. I love the white with the gray. It really fits fits the color scheme and the aesthetic of my niche. So once you found the one that you like, simply go ahead, click this next button up here. Next, you just want to go down here and click, I just need the logo. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to right click on this and go ahead and delete it because I want to replace it with my logo. Now, the next thing you want to do is come on over here where it says add on the side with the plus button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then you want to go under image and then click on my image uploads. And then you want to go ahead and upload your logo over here and then click add to page. So once you have added the logo to your page, you can go ahead and drag it anywhere on the screen. So in this case, I want to drag my logo right in the middle. So it looks kind of like this. You can make it bigger or smaller, however you guys want. So I also went ahead and I changed the background on my header so that my logo can really stand out. So in order to change the background color, simply come on over to the background and then double click on it. And then you can select any kind of header design that you want. For the next part, we're going to customize the banner image of our website. So what you can do is you can right click on the banner and then click on change slide background. Then over here where it says image, go ahead and click on that. And just like that, right on Wix, they allow you to select different types of niches or whatever business category you are in. Just put that into the search box right over here. So in this case, because I'm the elephant niche, I'm going to go ahead and type in elephants and see what it gives me. And then boom, they're going to give me tons of images that I can actually use. So I'm just going to select the one over here and then I'm going to click on this and then click change background. And then boom, you have your very own banner image that you can pull straight from Wix. Now, the next thing that you can actually customize is the menu items that you see over here. Now, because of the background color that I've selected, it's kind of hard to actually see the text on here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and right click and change it out. So you can click on design. 
So in this case, I'm actually going to select this one. I think this suits the elephant niche pretty uh, well. Now, if there is a certain menu item that's added here that you don't want to be on here, simply double click on the menu item rearrange any of the menu items that you want so you can see you can rearrange or you can go ahead and delete anything you don't want so for an example if you don't want our story here because you don't want to add that in there that's totally fine simply click on the three dots and then click on delete and then you can go ahead and delete that out of your menu the next part you want to come on back on over to your dashboard and then right underneath your site you'll see that a domain is not connected so in order to get a domain or connect one simply go ahead and click on it you want to go ahead and type in the domain that you want your website to be so i'm going to type in elephant lovers place and i'm going to go ahead and click search and then they're going to let you know if this certain domain is available so if it is available you can go ahead and get it so after you have connected your domain to your store the next thing we have to do is actually add our very first product so the first thing you want to do is go under app and then click go to app market and then right on search apps you want to go ahead and find printful this is the supplier that we're going to be using in today's tutorials go ahead and find it now once you find it you want to go ahead and install it as an integration on wix but since i went ahead and i already installed it once you install it just go ahead and open it and you can start adding your first product and now you can browse through hundreds of different products that Printful has to offer. So then after that, you can actually click on this product listing and actually edit anything that you want for this product. So you can edit the name, you can edit the price, the description. So anything that you want, you can do it when you click on each of the products. So right now I'm actually going to show you how this product actually appears inside of our Wix website so as you can see down here i'm just going to scroll all the way down and immediately you'll see your first product appear underneath this website so very quickly i uploaded two more designs so you guys can see how these products are actually laid out on wix so if i come back over here and i come on back down to the product section as you guys can see i have elephant mug number two and then elephant mug number three so you guys can see they're laid out beautifully on our website now another thing that you guys want to go ahead and double check is if you come back on over to the wix website editor and over here they're going to show you how it actually looks like on desktop but that you can also view it on mobile as well so if you come on here and you switch on over to mobile you'll be able to see how your website looks like on someone's phone now this is very important because the majority of the traffic that will be coming to your store are from mobile traffic. Now coming on back to our dashboard, the next thing we want to do is actually customize our shipping settings. So in order to do that, you want to go under settings. You want to scroll all the way down and go to store shipping. And the next thing you want to do is come on down over here and on this free shipping box, go ahead and click on the drop down menu. And they're going to have multiple different options. So you can set it by flat rate, by weight, price, products, etc. But from my experience, rate by weight is the easiest. Now we're actually going to set up the weight range and the rate. Now keep in mind the weight that we're going to be setting inside of our shipping settings have nothing to do with the actual weight of your physical product. This is merely a rule that we're going to set up with Wix telling them exactly how much to you charge your customers whenever they add a product to cart. So say for an example, we can set for every one pound that's equivalent to one product or in my case one mug if they only add one mug to the cart it equates to one pound so we're going to set up how much we want to charge per one mug so in this case i want to charge you know 4.99 if someone adds one mug to cart but let's just say for an example they've added two mugs to cart so any one pound and up i can charge maybe 5.99 for shipping and i can keep adding my range so anything from two and up I can keep charging, you know, $6.99 and I can keep, you know, adding it three and up. I can charge, you know, $7.99, so on and so forth. Now, after you have set up your shipping rules, you want to go on back on over to your products and you want to make sure that you adjust the shipping rate for each and every single one of the products in your store. So let me show you for an example. I'm going to click the elephant mug number one. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the part where it says manage variant, you wanna go ahead and click edit. And what you wanna do is go under shipping rate and make sure that you set up each of the shipping weight per product. So in this case, I'm gonna set this one and one. Once you're done, go ahead and click apply. For the next part, we actually have to connect a payment method. First, all you have to do is click on this button that says add payment method. The next part, you wanna go ahead and set up Wix payments for anyone that wanna check out using their credit or debit card. 
or you can also set up PayPal. So my recommendation, you wanna actually have both of these set up because there are gonna be a few people that wanna check out with a credit card. There's gonna be some customers that wanna check out with PayPal. So I'm actually not gonna show you how to set this up step-by-step step because it involves me putting in some of my personal information. But if you simply click on this blue button right over here and follow some of the prompts and you'll be able to set this up. Now for the next part, I'm gonna show you how to set up your store tax. Simply go under settings and then under store tax, you'll be able to get to this page. Now the next thing you want to do is click on this button that says automate your tax and then the next thing you're going to do is actually create an account with Avalara and all you really have to do is enter in your first name your last name enter in your email and your address so this is very important for Avalara to know how to charge your sales tax correctly and then you'll get a confirmation message that says Avalara account was successfully created and then under countries and rates, you'll be able to see your country right over here and that your tax rate is now automated. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually how to boost your site's SEO. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click this start now button. So then now Wix will actually recommend a checklist on everything that you still need to be optimized. So everything in this red exclamation point are things that you still need to do. And everything is in check mark, meaning things that you have already done. So we're gonna actually do the first one very quickly. So it says update the homepage title and I'm gonna click go for it. And then you'll actually see this pop-up box and then right under SEO Google, you'll be able to see this part where you actually get to customize the page URL, the page title, and also a description. So very quickly, I went ahead and I pasted in from Wix over here. So I just took this exact one, I copied it and I pasted it right over here. Now for the description, all I just typed in was our store is dedicated for all elephant lovers. You can obviously type in entire paragraph to tell your customers a little bit more about your business. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And then once you are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. Now another awesome tool that you can use with Wix is using the SEO patterns. With SEO patterns, it helps you to instantly update your page's title and description across all product pages. Let me show you how this works. You first wanna go and click view patterns and then click edit pattern. Go ahead and click edit. And then on this page, you can customize how search engines and social networks will be displaying your products. So over here, in order to customize it, you can go ahead and click add variable. You can go ahead and click add variable and I'm gonna click product price. So automatically when I click on it, it'll appear under the SEO description. This will be distributed throughout all of my products. So I don't have to actually do it one by one. This just makes the process a lot more uh, smoother and seamlessly. And then once you are done, simply click on this blue button here to save it. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is actually how to set up abandonment cart protector emails. So in order to set this up, you wanna go on over to customer management. So for this section, you can actually go ahead and create your own, or you can come down here and these are already pre-made templates that you can actually use for your website. So over here, they already have one that says email visitors to recover abandoned carts. You can just go ahead and click use this automation. Wix will automatically pre-fill a lot of these sections to help you recover all of your abandoned carts. So let's just take a look at the first one for the trigger. We have to select an app that we want to select from. So automatically Wix have already selected Wix stores, which is exactly what we want. Now let's take a look at the second part, which is an action. What do we want to do? So automatically they have also selected send email to contacts, which that is exactly what we want to select. And for the next step, we can go ahead and actually customize our email. Simply click edit template. And once you get on this page, you can literally hover over any part of this email and you can customize it to your heart's content. So over here, instead of saying, you know, we noticed you left something in your cart, you can just say, you know, forgot something just like that. And then if you look under backgrounds, you can also select different backgrounds that you want to appear in your email. So this is then for the last part, we want to let Wix know when we want these emails to be sent out. So if you look under timing, you can actually set a custom time to either immediately or set a custom time. So over here, instead of two hours, we can actually set it to, let's just say maybe one hour uh, frequency. You can select you know, how often you want Wix to send these emails. So you can say once per contact or once per contact every 24 hours. So for this one, I just like to say once per contact. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and click activate. 
that you're done, you'll be able to see your automation appear under my automation and you'll see it right over here. Now make sure that this is toggled on that says active to make sure that these emails are being sent out. Now you can deactivate any of these at any time. So you can simply turn this off, which says inactive. But if you do want these abandonment cart protector emails to be sent out, make sure that this is active and turned on. And that's it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed watching how you can build your own e-commerce website on Wix so you can save a majority of your time to market your products and drive sales. So if you're ready to build your own e-commerce website, you can head on over to wix.com slash ecom dominator to get started. And if you love content just like this, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and tap that bell notification. So you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Live free.